All right, so the last cloud storage we're going to talk about is Ubuntu One. And if you don't use Windows or Mac, you're going to use some other operating system known as Linux, probably. One distribution of Linux is known as Ubuntu. So if you have Ubuntu installed already, this one program that we're going to talk about, this cloud storage, is already integrated within Ubuntu. However, if you're on Mac or Windows, there's a download option to where we can have that folder just like we had with Dropbox and SkyDrive and Google Documents. So the first thing I have to do is sign up. So when I click the sign up link, it's going to tell me I'm new. I want a new account. So I'm going to put my full name in here and my email address. Create a password. And these little captures, you have to be careful. Sometimes the uppercase and lowercase, they're case sensitive. And that you do have to put the space in as well. So it emailed me a code, so I'm going to go to my email, I'm going to see this code came through already. Um, I could either copy this code or click on the link, so I'm going to copy and paste my code. Once I uh, provide a, um, authentication, it's going to let me in. I could subscribe, uh, subscribe to updates, I don't really want to do that. Um, so now that I am in my Ubuntu One uh, document folder, I can upload files, I can buy more storage space. If I go to my files, I'm going to upload that same documents, that same, uh, excuse me, Microsoft document we were messing with earlier. So if I upload this document, I can come over here to more, and I can either download or publish the file. Um, I could also share this file, or excuse me, I can't share the file, I have to share the folder. So if I click share this folder, I could give someone access, I would just type in their email, and again I can allow them to modify or edit that folder or file. Alright, so one thing Ubuntu has that the others do not have just as of yet is a form of music streaming. So if I click on music, it's going to tell me I'm not subscribed to use Ubuntu music because you do have to be a paid subscriber in order to use it. But if you subscribe, I believe it's uh, $3.99 a month or $40 a year and you get an extra 20 gigabytes of storage so you can upload files or download files from their music store. So if I clicked on the music store it would bring me any, um, to the music store of Ubuntu. I could come in buy albums, buy specific songs and be able to stream them to any device I had hooked up with this website. Alright now we're going to go download this application for our desktop so I can upload files just like we did with the other devices. So down here if I click Ubuntu One for Windows it's going to prompt me for a download. It's going to install. You have to follow the steps. Um, there it goes. So that's going to take a few minutes. That's a pretty large file so I'll pick back up whenever it's fully downloaded. Now that it's downloaded we're going to come down here and we're going to run this program. It's going to prompt us for authentication. It's going to unpack and we're going to basically follow the same steps that it's showing within the web browser itself. So we're going to launch, then we're going to have to sign in and sync our folders. So we're going to wait until this installs. I'm going to have to agree and continue. Sign me in with my existing account. Type in my email address. Once I signed in, I'm going to be able to sync specific folders. I'm not really going to sync anything because I don't have uh, I don't have a paid subscription to use the music, so I don't really use the Ubuntu One. I do use it with my computer that's set up with Linux because it works very well, and that way I don't have to hook up a flash drive to get files from a Linux computer to a Windows computer. I could use this instead. Um, so it's going to sync certain. I don't want to sync any of my documents, pictures, or videos. So I'm just going to click finish. And that's it. So now that I have this program up, I'm going to close it for a second. And I go to my computer. And notice Ubuntu One does not have a folder integrated like the others do. It is its own program. So I have to go through the all programs and scroll down until I see the Ubuntu One. Once I launch that program, it's going to open up this little window. I could drag and drop files and documents within here to sync with the web interface version of that. 
I could disconnect if I had a different email I wanted to use, upgrade my storage for a paid device. Again, it's going to show which devices are using this. I could come in here and limit my settings. The good thing about Ubuntu is it does not have a limit as far as what documents you can upload. The limit is it is literally whatever the limit of your storage space is. So if I was paying for 100 gigabyte storage, I could upload upwards of a 100 gigabyte file. So that's one really good thing about Ubuntu that the other programs do not do. All right, so um, again, I don't have too much experience with Ubuntu, but if you do have any questions, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Uh, thanks for watching.